lot of questions on all socials like why you left automation field if that was a very good field why the heck you left it and then when I have whenever I create some videos related to automation or some motivational videos or some important skills most of the people try to come in if that is that much if you think like PLC and DCS is that good why the heck you left the, that field and people are worried and curious if automation PLC DCS and SCADA is good then why you left that field I'm gonna address this question in this video I've got a lot of questions and also on Instagram YouTube LinkedIn TikTok. every day I whenever I open up inbox I always have similar kind of a questions today I have decided to talk about that and clear your all myths in this specific video before we go ahead if you're new to the channel there is a subscribe button please turn your, noti uh, your, your notification on and hit the subscribe button because whenever we create content you are gonna be definitely notified about our content related to PLC DCS and scale so let's get into the topic right away i started my career in i think it was 2011 when i started it i started it in as in in a network field and then i moved on to instrument and from instrument to plc dcs SCADA, hmi and then i moved on to industrial networking and then i moved on to industrial connectivity industrial digitalization and now cybersecurity. why the heck so much changes most of the people when they start the career they stick to the one field and they like if somebody started with the PLCs DCS then most of the people they would spend their entire life with the PLC and DCS but that's not the case with me I'm a kind of a person who's so curious so I'm getting into the reasons why I, I did that so I'm so curious to learn more and more one I feel like I'm kind of stuck to the one field and I have done most of the stuff or most of the learning in that specific that specific field I know already so at that point I normally moved on to the next one so that was one of the reason apart from it obviously everybody like you me everybody in the planet work for better salary and better career prospects so if you want to compare automation with OT cybersecurity OT cybersecurity is relatively a new field and there is a huge gap of the skills when we talk about OT cybersecurity. There are less people available who have uh, required skills in OT cybersecurity. Reason why? Because OT cybersecurity just started after pandemic, like on after COVID, most of the people realized that OT cybersecurity is something that needs addressing and we need people to be available to make sure that our plants are connected especially after you know too many attacks on OT facilities people realize that okay this is something we can't ignore anymore because before that most of the people think like okay because our PLC DCS and our plant everything is not connected to the outer world that's the reason we don't need OT cybersecurity so that myth sorted out because most of the plants or most of the attacks that you see on OT facilities are on oil and gas or fertilizer or petrochemical or power sector most of the attacks were where the plants were actually not connected to the internet or not connected to outer world uh, they were not sharing the data to the outer world they might have some internet connections within that their plant but that was not kind of like connected to the sharing the data to some cloud or something like that now people realize that they need to have people and that's where when they started looking for people there were very less engineers available and that's where i got an understanding okay now there's an opportunity to get into this field if i get into that because that field ot is specifically when we talk about ot is operation technology Operation technology is all about PLC, DCS, SCADA, and HMI, and all that industrial control systems. And that's where it's important that once you know all these systems already, then protecting it is going to be very, very important. And at least for me, it was kind of a challenging and interesting task. That's the reason I moved on to that field. And 
in industry, if there are skill ga gaps or skill shortage in specific field, then you normally get high paid for those roles. That's the reason, uh, you know, I moved on to OT cybersecurity and because I was looking into that field and I think, okay, I know how to connect the plants to the cloud. I have industrial networking knowledge. I have PLC, TCS and SCADA knowledge. Now it's the time to learn something new. And that's the reason I moved on uh, to OT field. That doesn't mean that PLC, DCS and SCADA is a bad field and it's not good at all. It's really a good field, especially currently when we talk about automation. It's 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 it's, it's something like you, it's gonna be definitely more and more in coming days and coming years. Especially when we talk about AI revolutions and all, uh, AI is getting everywhere. That's the reason it's it's very important that uh, you know if somebody is learning PLCs, DC, and then SCADA, he is not going to be jobless for sure in coming years. But for me, uh, because I have learned one step of the ladder, I know already I crossed one step of the ladder and moved on to second, third, and fourth, and then for me that was the easiest and the best uh, next choice to make me like learning new and new stuff. That's the reason I moved on to OT cybersecurity. Guys, I am still involved in, uh, you know, learning more and more in automation. I haven't sort of stopped learning on PLCs, DCS and SCADA. But in fact, I have, uh, you know, dreams to learn more and more in that side as well, to learn new and new softwares on automation sites like DCS, PLC and SCADA. But yeah, I hope that answered your question. Yes. And those people who are just talking about like, what the heck I'm creating videos on automation if I have left this field. I actually, I'm kind of in the same field because when I'm talking about OT cybersecurity, it's all about protecting the same components like PLC, TCS, Kira and all industrial um, instruments and sort of intelligent devices which are out there. I hope this answers your question. If it does, then please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, because there is very interesting content, content, content coming up on this YouTube channel. Take care. For now, I'm signing out.